David Brewster here with a new episode of Chord Play. This is the Chords of Camel and the progressive rock you know, legends. Camel formed in England in 1971 and definitely erupted in popularity in the early to mid 70s and definitely helped push the progressive rock boom that occurred in the 70s. And definitely you can find progressive rock you know, sprouting everywhere. Definitely in countries like Europe and Italy and Germany, obviously Canada with groups like Rush. But I'm a huge progressive rock fan or nerd. I love this stuff, you know, Gentle Giant, and King Crimson, and Goblin, and of course Yes, and Rush, and some of the groups I already mentioned. But Camel's legendary, definitely a very important and very influential group. And they bridge and combine, you know, rock elements, and folk, classical, jazz, lots of different styles. You know, even some electronica stuff with some synth and early, you know, synthesizers in their music. Definitely a legendary band, and I'm a huge fan. So here we go. So in the guitar department in Camel's music, we have Andrew Latimer, a legend of prog rock for sure, a great guitarist. And one of my favorite things about progressive rock music are just the weird tonalities and these lush chords and unusual things that occur. You know, it's not traditional kind of song craft and straight, you know, 4-4 four, four time and pop music. You know, prog rock is everywhere. And especially when they start bridging, you know, jazz and classical and fusion and blues and all these different elements and styles of music together it really excites me because you know you hear these different sounds and different ideas that you normally wouldn't hear in basic music but with prog rock you get to flex your muscles you know as far as a musician and really challenge you know not only the musicians in the band but also your listeners too and andy you know is a great guitarist for sure and he's still active on the scene he also plays flute and he's a monster flutist as well so he could rock your face off, you know, with the guitar and then turn around and play a flute solo, which is so cool. So the music and chord bass examples in this episode came from five different Camel albums, and I selected albums during their glory days back in the 70s. I love 70s Camel. And like the first four or five albums are magical. And then they had some lineup changes and member changes and their music noticeably shifted and changed. And it became a little bit more commercial, or a little more poppy, I guess. But I love just the erratic, crazy, you know, 70s prog rock from Camel, for sure. So here we go. With the opening, that's the song Another Night from the album Moon Madness. And Moon Madness is awesome. That's a great Camel album. And this song actually opens with this F blues run. And then you distinctly hear the guitar and bass, you know, playing this lower F riff while another guitar, you know, is kind of playing these triads on top. And that might actually just be bass and keyboard, you know, grabbing this F. But my ear kind of heard some guitar in there too, doing this. That's basically what I was looping right there with the TC Electronic did a looper. And that kind of heavy, that heavy heartbeat in the background. And so you hear this. There's that F blues run right there. So think F blues. So you're gonna come down like that. And then pick this up. And it's kind of a challenging, you know, opening right off the bat there, because that's as low as you can go on the fretboard without playing open strings, you know, jamming that F blues riff. And you distinctly hear, you know, the bass, keyboard, and maybe another guitar doing this. That's just F. and moving that B flat to C right there. And then right there you hear, you know, this guitar playing uh, triads like this. So you can think of this a couple different ways, but I'm viewing that like F minor right there. So there's F minor. And then D flat major. Minor triad to D flat major, and then 
this could be viewed as a little part of E flat major right there. And then go back to that F minor. So it's kind of unusual, you know, seeing this F minor triad mixed with that major triad and this major triad, but it's all F, you know, root notes. Because that's when you hear the bass and everybody thumping right there. together it's really cool and it kind of reveals like the camel signature sound with that one riff next up's the song first light and this came from the album rain dances and it's really just a finger-picked two chord prog rock texture but it's really cool something like this seven to an E major six but it's played in a really unusual way so we're gonna do E major seven like this and I'm not using my index finger you might notice and he's also doing this really interesting pull off there on the high E string um, so he's grabbing that B note and then pulling off to the high E open right there and I'm also plucking the low E open and just letting that low E ring pull off but you're going to change this D sharp to C sharp right there and that's going to change it to an E major 6 like that you know, really cool progression and I love those moody you know progressive kind of spacey chords you know, major 7 major 6 you know it's a really cool guitar part really basic but it sounds awesome Next up, Song Within a Song, and this also came from the album Moon Madness, and this is definitely a chord workout, like this. But uh, it's definitely a chord workout. So we're starting with B minor. What's well, B sus two to B minor, like that, and then A sus two to A major, and then F sharp minor, and then G major right there. So you're kind of moving up that F sharp minor, and then just the first, uh, like the low E D and G of the G major, let that ring, and then descend same thing on A major and then descend. So it's kind of got a weird rhythm right there. But it does have a flow once you kind of get the pattern, you know, together. So that's going to repeat that uh, like what three times? major just for a second and then B minor and after you pick through that F sharp major and B minor and just strum that little partial B minor and then G 
G major, really just like a triad, and then A major triad. And that's where they kick the phaser on and you hear F sharp minor. And it gets super dreamy right here to G major seven. Like that, just back and forth on those two chords. intense chord workout for sure. Next up is the White Rider and this came from the album Mirage. Definitely a classic Camel album and this has this crazy tremolo vibrato effect and also a lot of minor add nine chords too. It's kind of a minor add nine workout but something like this. effect off though so you can actually hear the chords I'm playing. So we're starting with this. That's an E minor at nine like that. You bar the 12th fret and reach up and grab that F sharp with your pinky. And you can definitely understand what chord that is without the effect there. So E minor at nine right there. I believe in the beginning they play that six times and then it's going to move from E minor at nine to a B minor at nine right here. minor bar chord, but we're going to you know, change this B to a C sharp right there. So B minor add 9 twice, and then move that down a whole step to A minor add 9 and play that twice. And then move that all the way down to F sharp minor add 9 and play that twice. And then E minor add 9 right here. the effect back it has this crazy you know haunted sound Next up is the tune 6-8, and this came from the first Camel album, their self-titled debut from 73, and it's this jazzy kind of instrumental rock out tune. Something like this, really cool. <laughs> starts with these octaves. Think Wes Montgomery, but he's not really thumbing it. I think he's just using a pick, but he starts here. He's kind of playing this melody right there. And then you got this. And then back to the first melody. And you hear this half step here. A minor 7 kind of shifted up to B minor 7, kind of funked out. And then you hear this major 7 worked out. So it's E major 7, to D major 7, to C major 7, and then B major 7 over here, to A major 7, to G major 7. So totally a major 7 chord workout right there. Check 6-8 out. That's a funky jazz, you know, instrumental rock tune. Next up is the song Sanctuary. This came from the album The Snow Goose, and this is on acoustic guitar, and it's played finger style, and it's really cool. Something like this.
actually starts with this, and that's going to function as a C major 7 right there, like this. So you're fretting like a C octave right there, C and C, and then the high E and the open B right there, like that. You're doing this kind of descending, rolling, arpeggiated pattern, like that. change to this. That's a B minor 7 flat 13, like this. Right, so you're grabbing that B, the open G, that D, and that A note right there. You know, really tasty chord. And then an A minor add 9, played like this. B and that C note, and then change the root note to G, so an A minor add 9 over G. And then an E flat major 7 right here. And that moves up to this F major, you know, kind of like this, but he's doing... Something like that, and then it kind of goes right back to C major 7 again and repeats. But check that song out, it's really cool, and I love those chords, they're so mysterious. Last but not least is the song Never Let Go, and this is also from the first Camel album, and it's this finger-style acoustic guitar part. It's really cool, like this. with this E minor thing and you're kind of playing these melody notes on the high E right there. Right? I think this is 1973. This sounds like something you could hear on the radio today. It sounds very modern, you know, but it's very, you know, definitely a, a classic song, like what, 50 years old now. That's all E minor right there. doing this C major 7, C6 thing that's really sneaky. So you're kind of moving this, you know, B to A to G on the G string right there. But he's finger picking through that. And then it's kind of like a B minor thing right here. And then back to that C6. And that's kind of weird. right back to E minor right there. Just walking through there, you've got the E minor thing. You have that C major 7, C6 thing. B minor thing, kind of B minor 6 thing, and then back to that C6, and that's kind of interesting there, the way it turns around back to the beginning, like that. going to wrap this episode of Chord Play with the Chords of Camel, and as I've admitted in other episodes on this channel, I'm a huge prog rock fan. I love progressive rock and funk, and of course I love, you know, rock and hard rock and metal and blues and jazz and classical and a bunch of different styles of music, but definitely, you know, progressive rock, it perks my ears up. It gets me excited. You get to be kind of a musical nerd in a way and kind of 
you know, flesh out some different chords or maybe different tonalities or scales or something that you normally may not get to play like in more traditional music like blues or pop or whatever. But with prog rock, it's almost expected, like you're supposed to get weird. Weird key changes, time signature changes and stuff like that, lush chords and strange noises and stuff. I love that, where it's like your creativity and your imagination run wild. So anyway, leave some feedback and comments. Please subscribe to me on Lessons, and I'll be back before you know it with more content and material. Thank you.